Greetings, and welcome once again to Venture Onward, your ultimate destination for the latest pop culture and comic news updates. In today's edition, Venture Onward delve into a plethora of intriguing topics that have been making waves across the entertainment landscape, from the exciting developments in Marvel's Alpha Flight to the stir caused by a controversial comment in the realm of Blue Beetle, and the ever-enigmatic Thanos who continues to captivate audiences, we're here to provide you with a comprehensive rundown. But that's not all, prepare to be astounded by the monumental achievement of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as they cross the remarkable milestone of $1 billion. And, of course, we'll round off our discussion by delving into the enthralling realm of X-Force. So, fasten your seatbelts as we journey through the enchanting tapestry of pop culture's latest triumphs, controversies, and marvels. Prepare for an intense clash within the ranks of Alpha Flight, as they confront their most formidable adversaries yet, each other. Get an exclusive glimpse into the upcoming series with a preview of pages from the first issue of Ed Brisson and Scott Godlisky's new comic. The beloved Canadian super team, Alpha Flight, is returning with a captivating five-issue series set to launch next week. This latest installment, expertly written by Ed Brisson and beautifully illustrated by Scott Godlisky, brings back the classic lineup of Alpha Flight with an intriguing twist. The story unfolds against the backdrop of a divided Canada, where the government has aligned itself with the anti-mutant organization known as Orcus. Consequently, Alpha Flight finds itself splintered into two opposing factions. On one side, we have Guardian, Puck, Shaman, and Snowbird, who have chosen to collaborate with the government and Department H in a mission to combat what they perceive as the mutant menace. Counterbalancing them are their former allies and friends, Northstar, Aurora, Fang, and Nemesis, who stand resolute against their former teammates. The first issue is accompanied by an exclusive three-page preview, offering readers a tantalizing glimpse into the imminent conflict. Marvel's preview text sets the stage for the intense drama that unfolds. Can Alpha Flight save Canada from the looming threat of mutants? Guardian, Puck, Snowbird, and Shaman make a triumphant return as a terrestrial version of Alpha Flight emerges onto the scene. But what division will lead these heroes to confront their former teammates, Aurora, Northstar, and Nemesis? Even Aurora's romantic partner, Fang, joins the fray. The repercussions of the fall of X have reshaped the landscape, pushing Alpha Flight to either soar to new heights or crumble under the weight of an insurmountable mission. This compelling new series emerges as a direct result of the explosive events unfolding in the ongoing fall of X saga. This storyline has injected an unprecedented level of intensity into all X-Men related narratives, causing widespread devastation among mutants and even giving rise to unexpected transformations, such as the re-emergence of the late Ms. Marvel as a mutant. Amidst this whirlwind of upheaval, the members of Alpha Flight find themselves at a crossroads, grappling with pivotal decisions about where their allegiances lie. Make sure to mark your calendars for the eagerly awaited release of Alpha Flight No. 1, slated to hit shelves on August 16th, courtesy of Marvel Comics. Prepare to be immersed in a thrilling narrative that delves into loyalty, ideology, and the inner struggles of these iconic Canadian heroes as they navigate the complexities of their divided world. In other news I talk about the Blue Beetle seemingly controversy comment where it was playfully mentioned that, Batman is a fascist, the intricate comic background behind Blue Beetle's controversial quip. Unraveling the series of events that resulted in the tragic demise of Blue Beetle, the divisive one-liner uttered by George Lopez's Uncle Rudy Reyes in the forthcoming Blue Beetle film, Batman is a fascist, has been a topic of fervent debate since the movie's initial trailer release. Whether it serves as a genuine critique of Batman's crime-fighting tactics or is simply a jarring, tongue-in-cheek comedic element, the line has sparked discussions about its intended meaning and whether it carries any substance. While delving into the validity of Uncle Rudy Reyes' striking declaration regarding the Dark Knight's methods falls beyond our scope, an intricate connection exists between Batman's occasionally contentious strategies and the legacy of the Blue Beetle. Indeed, there exists a profound link between one of Batman's significant blunders and the tragic fate of Ted Kord, the predecessor of Jamie Reyes as the Blue Beetle. In the 2005 one-shot, Countdown to Infinite Crisis, a precursor to the Infinite Crisis storyline that revived DC's previously obliterated multiverse, Ted Kord stumbles upon a conspiracy to pilfer the secrets of Earth's superheroes, encompassing their hidden identities and vulnerabilities. Despite Ted's efforts to enlist the aid of his allies in the Justice League, his concerns, including those expressed to Batman, are dismissed or outright discredited. Undeterred, Ted delves into the heart of the issue, tracing the origin of the data to a clandestine stronghold, which he infiltrates alone. As Ted is on the verge of erasing the secrets of his fellow heroes, he uncovers a shocking revelation. Maxwell Lord, the philanthropic tycoon who once financed the Justice League, is the mastermind behind the data theft. Moreover, Lord intends to exploit this information to incapacitate every superhero on Earth. In a climactic confrontation, Lord shoots Ted in the face, resulting in a surprisingly graphic scene within the realm of mainstream superhero comics. This tragic sequence of events is intricately linked to Batman. Unveiling a pivotal twist, it is revealed that Batman had compiled all the confidential data with the intention of employing it against fellow heroes should the necessity arise. Employing the all-encompassing AI satellite known as Brother Eye, capable of global surveillance, Batman constructed a colossal totalitarian surveillance apparatus. However, Lord gains control of the satellite, commandeering Batman's amassed intelligence about the rest of the Justice League. Utilizing Brother Eye, Lord creates an army of AI-enhanced super agents to achieve world domination. If Batman hadn't devised the satellite to obtain his colleague's confidential information or if he had taken Ted's concerns more earnestly, Ted Kord's tragic demise could have been averted. Does the label fascist accurately describe Batman? We tend to lean toward interpreting the Blue Beetle's moment as a case of shock humor. However, it is essential to acknowledge the substantial misstep Batman committed through his intermittently autocratic tactics. This adds a layer of depth to the comedic quip in the Blue Beetle film, casting light on the intricate history shared by Batman and Blue Beetle within the realm of comics. Elsewhere let talk Thanos and how he is set to clash with the enigmatic Illuminati in a fresh solo series, while also embarking on an unexpected vehicular escapade. Adding to the intrigue, Emma Frost and Blue Marvel are poised to join this clandestine assembly. This upcoming four-issue series, helmed by writer Chris Cantwell and illustrated by Luca Pizzeri, is slated to launch in November. Prepare for a face-off between Thanos and an eclectic lineup of heroes, including Iron Man, Doctor Strange, and others from Marvel's Pantheon. The narrative revolves around the new iteration of the Illuminati, a covered society of superheroes, who inadvertently provoke the wrath of the Mad Titan by concealing an item he's determined to recover at any cost. The amalgamation of veteran and newly recruited heroes in this incarnation includes Doctor Strange, Mr. Fantastic, and Tony Stark, with Emma Frost and Blue Marvel rounding out the ranks. While the former trio has prior membership, the latter two characters are fresh recruits. Lionel Francis Hughes' cover artwork for the first issue, along with a variant by Phil Noto, provides a visual glimpse into the impending clash. Writer Chris Cantwell shared his enthusiasm, remarking, I've had the honor and joy of writing some of Marvel's greatest villains, so you can imagine how excited I am to not only tackle the Med Titan himself, but pit him against some of the most powerful brains and fists out there
The crux of Thanos' return to the cosmos revolves around an agonizing yearning for connection, seeking solace in a singular essence that he believes transcends existence itself. Meanwhile, this essence is grappling with profound existential questions, leading to a complex and enthralling narrative. Adding an unexpected twist to the mix, Thanos even takes the wheel of a pickup truck. Illustrator Luca Pizzeri expressed his immediate connection to the project, noting, I could tell right from reading the first panel description that this book was gonna be something else. Pizzeri finds himself drawing characters he's longed to explore, with the task of rendering Thanos proving especially enjoyable due to the character's imposing presence. Prepare for the debut of Thanos number one, set to be published by Marvel Comics in November. Be prepared to witness a clash of titanic proportions as Thanos engages with the enigmatic Illuminati, grappling with internal dilemmas while embarking on an unprecedented and humor-laden journey. In other news it has been reported that the TMNT franchise crosses $1 billion mark in 2023 with the release of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. In a shell-shocking turn of events, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, TMNT, franchise has shattered financial expectations, surging past the remarkable milestone of $1 billion in global retail sales in the wake of its latest cinematic installment, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. This animated film, co-produced by Paramount, Nickelodeon, and Seth Rogen's Point Grey, is creating mutant mayhem not just on screen, but also in the financial realm. As the TMNT brand powers into the future, the 2023 release of Mutant Mayhem is leading the charge with its impressive journey toward $100 million at the global box office. Industry insiders predict that this film's success will serve as the driving force behind the brand's incredible achievement of surpassing $1 billion in global retail sales for the year. Paramount Pictures Studios, under the guidance of Brian Robbins, has masterfully breathed new life into the nearly four-decade-old comic IP created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. This resurgence began in 2009 when Paramount acquired the rights to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IP. Since then, the brand has soared to stratospheric heights, amassing a staggering $8 billion in global merchandise sales by 2022. The latest reboot has captured the hearts of longtime fans and new enthusiasts alike, setting the stage for an impressive financial journey. Forecasts for the U.S. and Canadian markets are notably optimistic, with projections suggesting that the film's earnings could potentially exceed $110 million. But it's not just the silver screen that is contributing to the franchise's meteoric rise. The TMNT brand's success has been bolstered by an extensive range of merchandise partnerships, boasting over 400 licensees for the film and an impressive 1,100 for the brand as a whole. Notable collaborations with giants like Playmates, Hasbro, Mattel, Crayola, Funko, and General Mills have resulted in products gracing over 550 retailers worldwide, including heavy hitters like Walmart, Target, Amazon, and Macy's. In an age where digital integration plays a pivotal role, TMNT has expertly embraced this trend. The franchise's digital footprint has expanded through strategic gaming and publishing collaborations, including titles like Minecraft, The Sims Free Play, Fruit Ninja, as well as partnerships with Random House and IDW. A standout addition is the game, TMNT, Battle Tycoon, on the Roblox platform, further cementing the brand's online presence. Promotion has played an indispensable role in TMNT's recent triumphs. A vast network of advertising channels has contributed to over half a billion impressions across domestic CBS, adult networks, and social media platforms. Paramount's Pluto TV has diligently showcased the franchise's various iterations, while the TMNT YouTube channel boasts a staggering 2.66 million subscribers. The TMNT legacy has further been invigorated by exclusive content offerings. Paramount Plus, the streaming service, now houses all four series and eight movies in multiple countries, while Nickelodeon resorts and attractions provide immersive experiences for fans of all ages. Additionally, strategic promotional partnerships have added significant media value, generating a whopping 3 billion impressions. The collaboration with Pizza Hut stands out, featuring in-movie integration, custom animated spots, AR mobile gaming experiences, and TMNT-branded pizza vans. International markets also witnessed the release of limited-edition pizzas inspired by the film. Innovative marketing campaigns, such as Xbox's pizza-scented video game controllers, sweeping custom designs, and TMNT-themed events, have further elevated the brand's appeal. The synergy extends even into fashion, as a TMNT and Pizza Hut apparel line grace the shelves of Primark stores. As Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, continues to captivate audiences in theaters, it's evident that these heroes in a half-shell are bigger, bolder, and more beloved than ever before. With its strategic collaborations, innovative marketing endeavors, and the undying loyalty of its fan base, the TMNT franchise has proven that age is just a number, and the pursuit of adventure is timeless. Shifting gears, let's talk about how Krakow may be gone, but Benjamin Percy's X Force fights on, unveiling the fall of X and the evolution of mutant kind. In the ever evolving world of Marvel's X Men, change is a constant. The latest seismic shift has seen the fall of Krakow, the mutant nation, and the upheaval of its citizens' lives. Amongst the chaos and uncertainty, Benjamin Percy's X Force emerges as a beacon of resilience, determination, and intrigue. In an exclusive conversation with CBR, Percy delves into the impact of the fall of X on X-Force and the culmination of the storyline he's been meticulously crafting with characters like Colossus and Mikhail. X-Force, the guardians of intelligence and covert operations. Once the intelligence arm of Krakow, the X-Force stood as the defenders of mutant kind, gathering strategic information and conducting covert operations to safeguard their nation and its people. However, the turbulent events of the Hellfire Gala have shattered the paradisiacal Krakow, leaving it shattered and many of its citizens presumed dead. In the midst of this uncertainty, the future of X-Force is cast into shadow. What will become of this one stalwart team? Which operatives will rise to prominence in this new landscape? and which adversaries will seize the opportunity to emerge from the shadows and make their decisive moves. These questions now drive Benjamin Percy and artist Robert Gill's X-Force series as it navigates the uncharted territory of the fall of X. In a candid interview with CBR, Percy peels back the layers of this intricate narrative, unveiling the heart of the story that has been building since the series' inception. The Phoenix rising from the ashes, X-Force's evolution. With the mutants facing a dire situation many of them killed or exiled, Percy reveals that X-Force, in some form, still persists. Mutant kind may be down, but it's far from out. In the wake of devastation, the surviving X-Force members are fighting for survival, acting as prisoners, defenders of their kind, and an underground rebellion force. The dynamic of the team has shifted, evolving to fit the demands of a world plunged into chaos. As an integral part of the build-up to the fall of X, Percy has witnessed the transformation of mutant kin's status quo firsthand. Expressing his enthusiasm as both a fan and a writer, he acknowledges the privilege of contributing to the X-Men saga during this transformative era. He's quick to point out that Krakow's utopia was never meant to last indefinitely, as the stagnation of the status quo rarely lends itself to compelling storytelling. 
Now, as the idyllic paradise crumbles, a more treacherous era of spicraft and insurgency emerges a fertile ground for riveting narratives. The enigmatic presence of Mikhail Rasputin, a significant figure set to make a grand entrance is Mikhail Rasputin. The storyline involving Mikhail and his intricate relationship with Colossus has been a slow-burning fuse since the inception of the series. Finally, in the fall of X, their arcs collide in a crescendo of tension and conflict. This long-anticipated moment is a testament to Percy's storytelling finesse, meticulously crafting a narrative that unfurls over time, allowing for depth and emotional resonance. Percy's penchant for suspense is further reflected in the upcoming X-Force issues. In the forthcoming X-Force number 43, readers will gain insight into the team's experiences during the tumultuous Hellfire Gala, adding layers of complexity to the overarching narrative. The intrigue deepens as Black Tom Cassidy takes center stage, his importance intertwined with his unique connection to Krakow, a fractured world and shifting allegiances. In a world fractured by the cataclysmic events, Percy emphasizes the theme of brokenness and resilience. The team dynamics shift as characters grapple with the aftermath, torn between surrendering to despair and the unwavering drive to rebuild. Orcus, the enigmatic organization with a fervent goal of eradicating mutants, stands as a formidable adversary, while Mikhail Rasputin's shadowy enclave in Russia emerges as another force to be reckoned with. The impending conflict carries echoes of the Civil War storyline, thrusting characters into a realm of shadowy operations and tense allegiances. Artistry and chaos, collaborators shaping the series. As Percy navigates the uncharted territory of the Fall of X, his words are brought to life by the skilled hands of artists Robert Gill and Daniel Acuna. Gill's mastery shines through as he deftly handles the intricate challenge of illustrating a diverse cast of characters and conveying their personalities within action-packed sequences. His ability to weave intricate details into the backgrounds adds a layer of authenticity that grounds the story. On the cover art front, Percy expresses his excitement at having the talented Daniel Acuna contributing his artistic sorcery. Acuna's covers promise to capture the essence of the story, drawing readers in with his distinct visual style. Teasing the future, the Beast's tale. As the fall of X unfolds, one of the most anticipated elements looms large the return of X-Force's former head of intelligence, Beast. Percy tantalizingly hints at a big, big, big Beast story on the horizon, leaving readers eager for the intricacies and revelations that lie ahead. A tumultuous battle, Mikhail vs. Colossus. The evolution of X-Force reaches a crescendo in X-Force number 46. The culmination of years of storytelling sees the long-simmering conflict between Mikhail Rasputin and Colossus boil over. Brothers pitted against each other, their battle embodies the complexities of loyalty, power, and revenge. As the dust settles, the consequences of their clash are sure to reverberate throughout the mutant landscape. In a world where mutant kind faces unprecedented challenges, Benjamin Percy's X-Force stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of the X-Men. As the mutants adapt to the fallout of the fall of X, readers can expect a narrative filled with intrigue, espionage, and the untamed resilience that defines these iconic characters. With the creative prowess of Benjamin Percy, Robert Gill, and Daniel Acuna guiding the way, the future of X-Force promises to be an exhilarating journey through the untamed terrain of Mutant Kin's new era. And with that, we've reached the conclusion of our current update. I sincerely appreciate your time and attention. If you've enjoyed this content and want to stay in the loop with all things Venture Onward, we encourage you to subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to activate the notification bell to receive timely updates on our latest news and insights. Until we meet again on the next exciting adventure, remember to keep venturing onward.